Barry's the best. Appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, thank you. you, All right, so they're going to break down their stuff now and pack up, and then we'll talk to them in just a bit. So uh, we'll let them do that. In the meantime... I got to ask you something. Sure. Last night, my son, uh, you know, you were talking about Zsa Zsa Gabor earlier. Yeah, I get everybody's talking my about My son it. said, you know, she was on Johnny Carson's show one time. She came there with a cat on her lap. And she said to you, do you want to pet my pussy? <laughs> and, um, and, um, my son said that you said, uh, I'd love to if you'd remove that damn cat. <laughs> Is it true? No, I think I would recall that. <laughs> okay, we're back. You're listening to The Bear's Den with Barry the Bear. And now see. And what do we have? Well, that last little clip is a classic one from the... All right. Well, the members of a Borderline Delusion are here now. They're, they've uh, broken everything down and put it all away. Uh, I have to ask, is the whole band here this time? Um, most of us. Most no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, we're all here. Okay, all right. and then how many is that this time? Wait, one. Eight. Eight, eight people. Eight, okay. Well, okay, well, I know you've We're had... still looking for more people. Like <laughs> What? Like, we're still looking for, like, more... Well, how many ja- people do you want to have? Player. Oh. We haven't found a trombone Orchestra section. Yeah. yeah. The choir. The choir section. The choir. Oh, uh, okay. What about the, the Javanese gamelan that requires <laughs> 30 people to play? Um, uh, I... All right, well, I understand you've had a, a few lineup changes, so why doesn't everyone once again introduce themselves, especially those of you who are new and are here for the first time? Starting from my right. Oh, uh, this is Danny. Hi, I'm Tony. And Tony, and uh, this is your first time, correct? This will be my first time. And she plays the bass, so she, okay. everyone knows. And she sings and plays the bass. All right. And she's really good. And who's next over here? I'm Allie. And it's your first time, too, yes. right? Okay. Eric, I keep beats. You were here before, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Ben, I play the keys. Yeah, were you here last time, or no? I was not. Okay, yes. Next, I'm Tika, and I do some lead, and, and I also you do were some definitely backup. here last time. Yes. I remember that. Yes. <laughs> Glad to be back. Hey, it's Justin. I play guitar, and I was here before. Yes. And lastly, Kevin. Uh, this is my first time here. I wrote some of the music for some of the songs, and also sing. Cool. So to those of you who are uh, new, since we uh, had you guys in the studio last time, how'd you all get involved? So who wants to take that and one can, first? Oh, um, we took a recording class at West LA College with Phil oh. Small, and um, we just kind of like started hanging out, recording some songs in the class, and then we just decided to, you know, he decided to ask a few of us that are in the class to join the band. Oh, I see, and that goes for all of you new ones. Uh, well, Ke- Kevin has always been part of the band. He's just yeah. kind of a, a writer, but he's amazing. I, I, I write songs with him all the time. Yeah, Danny and I are uh, good friends and also neighbors, and we've been um, we're some of the core people in this band since since the very beginning. My car broke down, and he actually helped me the, oh. until we met. But then, um, just I'll just say, Justin has always been. He's, he's he met amazing. me on the street. I mean, no, I did meet him on this. Yeah, he had a guitar though. I was carrying a guitar, and he said, "You want to join my band?" And I said, "Okay." <laughs> Simple. Yes, I think I remember you mentioning that last time. Yeah. Chica, how did I meet you, Chica? I met Danny in class. We had a film class together. And uh, I think she vocals. I'd never been a singer before. And I was like... Uh, would you mind repeating that? Your microphone was cutting out. <laughs> I said I never uh, thought I would be singing on stage or singing ever. Mm. And then Danny believed in me and said, just join our band. And I tried it out. And I enjoy it. Yeah, well, you, are, you have graduated from being backup now to uh, singing, co- I guess, sharing the lead duties, or at least to some degree. Yes, yes. Yeah. It took a long time, though. A lot yeah. of practices. We put a lot of hours into our practices. Yes. And, uh, okay, who else is new ben. here? Ben. Uh, I met Danny at Los Angeles City College. Um, I told him that I played keys, and he said that they needed a keyboard player. They needed a keyboard player, okay. <laughs> Next. So. <laughs> I met Danny at a UCLA program, and he's just like, oh, you sing. Uh, why don't you join my band? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, how, long ago, how long ago was that? Okay. Uh, that was uh, last uh, fall. Last oh. fall, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. 
And, uh, and Eric's always been part of the band. Yeah. Oh, he's. Yeah. Well, he was here last. See, the common thread is Danny here. Everybody <laughs> had to meet Danny first. Yeah. I met him on the street. Yeah, he was wearing a tool shirt, there. and it, it feels like every band. So I thought anyone who plays drums and plays like cool has to be a good drummer. Well, I, think, I mean, I think look, if you were standing out, tapping your foot, Danny'd probably approach you and ask if you would like to join the band. We need a foot tapper. <laughs> yeah, we need more. <laughs> but tool, tool, I think once did a did a metal song in which the lead singer was reading the ingredients to a recipe for double yes, bass. Yes, they did. They did. They did. They did. It's on Anima. Yeah, it's one of the songs on Anima. It's always like them for that. Favorite band. What? Tool is Danny's favorite band. Oh. I want this band to be like Tool, but uh, it's so it's but so different. Hard. Yeah, but different. Yeah, <laughs> different. With like some uh, like Tool, but some just going like Tool, but different. Yeah, have you, like have you played with tool. tool yet? I wish. Oh, yeah. Next next time. Next, next time around, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're touring us. Too. It's actually in July. We're playing with them. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> no, yeah, we are. Okay. <laughs> oh, you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Cool. Uh, so. um... Yeah, so what happened to the other members of the band who were here last time but are not here now? Well, I, I, can't, I have to explain. I was, um, Lauren, Lauren was the lead singer, and we... Yes. Originally, it was just me and Lauren, and, and uh, it's so sad. Like, I wrote these lyrics, and I gave it to her, and she sang them, and everything was going great, but it just, she lives in Orange County, and she's, I think she's pursuing an acting career now, and she said, but she just has... She just... It, I was more into, like... I want everything to be different. I want every song to be different. I want different singers. I want different everything. And then Lauren kind of wanted things a certain way that she she had in her mind. And I think that we're creative. We're, we're still really... I feel like hopefully we'll be friends again. And I really think she's a great person. But I'm just really happy that um, the new lineup, it's like... I didn't think about this, but I'm going, now the band's going in the direction I want it to go. It's much more of like a punk metal direction with Tony and Ali singing... And Tika, and the way we've done it now, it's like, I feel like now we're breaking out and doing what we want to do, which is really cool. Uh, and Tony, you had an interesting story you were telling us beforehand about, uh, had to do with Agnostic Front and how you wound up here in California from, uh, where were you from originally? New Mexico, yeah. Taos, New Mexico. How, and how did you get here? Well, I got here um, for other reasons, but I went to New York, after, you know, and I met Agnostic, well, I met them while they were on tour in New Mexico, and I, you know, had a song that I wrote. I sang um, the song from. It's called "How Do You Like That." You know, I put on the CD, sang along with it, and they're like, "Yeah." And then, like, there was a band called the Rupees there, and they were looking for a lead singer. So I wound up going on the tour with the band and having a good time, you know. And and then. Um, uh, just here, <laughs> <laughs> <just> yeah. <laughs> and you've been here ever since. When was that? I I got here in uh, that was like many years ago, but oh. th- I've been here since 2011. Well, the listeners know, of course, uh, long all the members of Agnostic Front have, uh, have been on this show at one point time or another. Um, Vinny Stigma has been on the show several times. Roger Moret has too. Uh, of course, we we had the classic uh, victim in pain lineup when we had Jimmy Coletti and uh, Rob Kabula the first time we had them on the show. They've all been here, um, <laughs> and they're still a going concern. They were in town just this past December. Um, ah, so uh, now, when it comes to uh, the songs you played this time, as opposed to the ones you played last, they were all new except for the last two, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, how do you how do you uh, s- see your songwriting has de- been developing oh man it's like i don't know one time i said to justin like i said this is a no the band's gonna be a t- everyone can do whatever they want and do it it's like so i think people i i, I want to create like i want everybody in this band to have a say and to create something to it before it was just like mainly me and you know just a few songwriters but i wanted it to be like a, a collaborative thing where everyone has their own thing you know that's why i kind of brought tika from a backup singer to a lead singer because i felt like it's so important to hear what people have to say then rather than you know it's it's just important for everyone to have something to say and that's kind of how we did the songs this time so these songs were written primarily i mean you i know you said uh you talked about each song as you were introducing them but you're still the primary songwriter then lyricist well, or music or? i'm more of a lyricist yes yeah. but in terms of music i think that people like kevin here my neighbor and everybody else in this band Especially we all, you know, Kevin, Kevin's been, since the beginning, I go and jam at his house every day and like uh, most times and we learn so much from each other. And I think that since the band, since, I don't know, since we, this new lineup came together, it's like, you know, Justin has been j- jumping in and doing this great stuff and giving me music. It's unbelievable. If you should hear his music, it's really cool. So how is it different from it was the way it was before? It's more, I don't know, reggae. I, I don't know. How do you call your music? Like, explain your music, Justin. My music? Yeah. Tell us your... 
entirely different from this band. Well, tell us about your music. <laughs> well, what I really meant was how is the songwriting different now than the way it was before? Oh, that's a good question. Kevin? Tell us, Kevin. Yeah, I helped write, I wrote uh, a couple of the songs. What do you call it? Camel's Back? Camel's Back. It used to be Camel's called Camel's Back. Back. Oh, which yeah. is also known as Merry Go Round. And the first one we played, which is I Woke Up Today, I wrote both those songs. This is a 20 year uh, anniversary of those songs from 1998. Wow. He had yeah. a band called the Kamikazes, <laughs> but it's, it was only him. And I, lo- I heard a CD. Revamping him. I heard a CD, and I loved his CD. And I said, hey, can I take this song and write some extra lyrics and change some stuff? And he loved it. And it's been the best thing in the world. That's, you know, Kindergarten was one of the songs that I wrote the lyrics, he wrote the word, the music for, and right. then um, I'm waiting for Justin to give me a song. But, I mean... It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He's, <laughs> but I just want, like... Yeah, was there, I, um, did I answer the question? Yeah, more Confused. or less. <laughs> yes, more or less, I think so. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so, Kamikaze, that was your... Karma- uh, oh, Kamikaze. Oh, Kamikaze. Yeah. And it was just you? It was just me. I was kind of acting like Beck, you know, as a with a four track tape deck and made all the tracks myself. And then, oh, yeah. how many instruments did you play? Uh, all of them. Oh, oh, so you're so you're like Trent Reznor on the first <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you look on like um, the, the the first uh, Nine Inch Nails album. I think was pretty Hate Machine. It just mm-hmm. says Nine Inch Nails is. Yeah, right. and that's it. <laughs> well, that's why I'm glad Danny came along because he re- rewrote some of the lyrics and added bridges. I have a really t- difficult time writing bridges in my songs. Yeah. Songs and Danny came along and was able to help with that. So yeah. really I just can't. I don't know. If, to me, it's so hard to have a song without a bridge. It just it messes me up. It's like it's a mathematical thing. I don't know. That's well, well, it just, makes the dream work though. Mm-hmm. Well, what would you repeat that? that? Is it teamwork makes the dream work? Right? Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. Yeah, 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 and it's it's really a team. You know, we. I You've got to start selling T-shirts with that. Dream. Yeah, that's should we. We'll change the band name to. <laughs> no, no, just say borderline delusion, and under it have your quote. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to write that like one you down. Can purchase them online. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. since I gave you, since I gave you the actual idea, you have to cut me in. We will. Fifty percent. Change it a little bit. Right. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Oh dear! So you got any shows coming up? Um, Tony has. Tony's trying. Hopefully, she can get us some shows in um, Long Beach. Yeah, mm. you know they're always looking for people at Alex's bar. And so, you know, Alex's bar. Where? Oh, that's that's down in Long Beach. Yes. No, 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 not Long Wait. Beach. Lo- oh, where is, is that Long Beach? Where is Long? Where is Alex's bar? Yeah, <laughs> it's Long Beach. Yeah. <laughs> we were saying. Yes. Yeah, they got a really good sound system there. I saw Agnostic Front there. At Yes. Oh, yes, I remember they were going to be at Alex's bar that time when they weren't at it. Uh, that was either before or after Los Globals. It was before. Before. They were coming from um, San Francisco during that fire time, you know, that we were having those bad fires. Yes, and, I do so remember that. I was kind of worried they wouldn't make it, but yeah. they were faithful. They made it. You know? They made it. Oh, dear. They were coming from San Francisco. Yes. Yes, I remember. If you would like to book us, please contact Danny. We yes. really need some shows, please. And yes, where yes, where yes. should they contact you? On your Facebook page? Or? Uh, Instagram. Well, no, you know, d- d- borderline delusion at gmail.com would be the best way. Um, so, And also, you know, Tika is really into Instagram, so she knows all about that. Yeah, we and, have a borderline delusion Instagram page. Oh. Um, yeah, she's in charge of that. She's really good. Takes so many photos, and yeah, she's great. Um, cool. Please follow us. Yeah, follow Our us. Exact name is like. Like. Oh wait, I wanted to say I don't know if you know there was a, there was like a junior higher school that called me about doing like a suicide prevention show, but I don't know if you guys knew it's it's gonna be like at twelve noon some, one of the days to help like kids out. I'll, I'll find out who can do it. But I, why are you putting band news right now on air? Band news. <laughs> oh, that, you're right. You're right. Spilling right. us in. Okay, Sorry. but you can't you can't you can't leave that unfinished. But oh, no, never mind. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> never mind. Okay, uh, you out there listening, you must forget the last 60 seconds of this show. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, is there anything else you would like to tell us? Thanks for having us here, and you're no amazing. Problem. And is there any, Alcy, is there anything you Thanks, want to ask? Thanks, Alcy. You're cool, dude, Alcy. Thanks, man. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, you got nothing, yes. Yeah, loved hearing you guys tonight. Yes. Heard, got to hear you guys a while back. Oh, I, I did want to ask. When I asked you yeah. how your songwriting has changed, do you think right. you uh, do you think you have improved as songwriters or gotten more skilled or whatever? Yes, oh. I think definitely. I didn't even know how to like do anything in music. I was just first a lyricist, and all of a sudden I'm working with different people. And I'm learning how to put songs together, and it's like it's so much easier now. And so it's, it really has changed, and for everybody else, they're, they're getting more used to it. And cool, cool. Well, does anyone want to uh, add anything to that before we uh, before we go? I want to say thank you to everyone for listening. And I want to say thanks to my class. They've tuned in today, hopefully. 
Oh, your class? Your, yeah, my class. Your class, class. yes. Your I class. Told them, I told your... them to listen in, and they uh, they did. So, is this a class you teach or a class you take? I take. Shout out uh, to Mr. Jones' plumbing class. That's uh, all I want to say. I see. Cool. 